Hi, welcome to the video Download and Install OpenJDK 23 on macOS with me Namaming at code Java.net. In this video, I'd like to share with you the exact steps you can follow to set up Java German environment on your Mac computer so you can get started to create, develop, build and run your Java applications on Mac OS. Firstly, let's understand briefly about OpenJDK. You know, OpenJDK is a blockchain ready and open source distribution of Java development kit or JDK. And JDK 23 is a regular update of the Java SE platform. It is non long term support release of Java SE, non LTS. It's just a regular update. And JDK 23 was released on September the 17th, 2024. It is distributed as archive fly, such as star.gg and zip for macOS, no installer. And to install OpenJDK 23 on macOS, it's strongly recommended to download the binary distribution of OpenJDK from its official download page at this URL and it's also strongly recommended to verify the integrity of the downloaded archive file by checking its SHA-256 checksum value after download and to install OpenJDK 23 extract the downloaded archive file and configure two environment variables java underscore home and path now, let me show you how to download the binary distribution of OpenJDK23 from official download page as the URL jdk.java.net slash 23. You see, this is the official download page of OpenJDK version 23. And you can see for Mac OS, it is distributed as .gg archive file. So click the link download.gg here to download the binary distribution of OpenJDK23 for macOS. I save it onto the downloads folder on my user directory. Okay. And you can see next to the download link here, you can see there's a link, SHA-256 link here. That shows the SHA-256 checksum of the uh, original archive file hosted uh, on this website. Okay, the download is complete. Okay, and uh, showing finder. And you can see this is the uh, .gg archive file of binary distribution of OpenJDK. Okay, and uh, before uh, extracting this uh, archive file, we uh, should verify its integrity by checking its SHA-256 checksum. You can see this is the SHA-256 checksum of the original file hosted on the server. Now we need to get the SHA-256 checksum of the downloaded archive file. So we are open an open a terminal window. Let me open a new terminal window. Terminal here. Yeah. Okay, and change the current directory to download directory, and you can see the binary archive file of OpenJDK23 here. And to get the SHA-256 checksum value of this file, type this command SHA-SHAM-8256, and then the archive file name. You see, it prints the SHA-256 checksum value of the file, and we should compare to uh, check some values if both are identical both are the same uh, we can uh, safely use the uh, downloaded archive file you can see both are the same that means I can use the downloaded archive file safely and the next step is extracting the downloaded uh, archive file into a specific folder uh, so let me create a new folder under my user home directory open jdk okay and then you just come in to extract the tar.gg file tar-xf and then the 
file name and the uh, flag she and specify is a uh, target directory so destination is open ZDK folder under my user home directory okay done and change the uh, directory to my user home directory sorry open JDK and you can see it has extracted open JDK 23 binary files under this folder okay let me go deeper into this directory JDK 23 contents Home. and you can see this home is the installation directory of uh, JDK home directory of JDK 23 and under bin you can see the binary uh, files in the bin folder let me show you you see you can see the uh, executable for java, java c, ja, ja signer and so on Okay, so that means the next step we should configure the Java home environment variable should point to this path. Okay, okay, so the next step, the next step, let me change, uh, let me copy, open JDK, copy this path first. Okay, now let me change the current, current directory to my user home directory and uh, list all the files here and to configure environment variables we need to create or edit the cell resource file Okay, so here in my Mac computer the current cell is um, let me show you terminal about terminal and as you can see the current shell is a G shell so I need to uh, create a new uh, shell resource file uh, like this cat greater than sign to create a new file dot G H S R C this is a uh, G shell resource file. Sorry, the file name should be dot G S H R C, and the content we export the environment variable Java underscore home equal to my user home directory, and then the path I copied before here yeah, open JDK. So we set the Java underscore home environment variable to the home directory or in the JDK23 installation directory like this and the next line we update the path envir environment variable equal to java underscore home slash b and path separator and the value of the path environment variable itself enter and press uh, ctrl d to save the file and type cat.gssrc to verify the content of this shell resource file okay okay then try to type java version here okay don't worry just exit the terminal quit the terminal and open a new one for the change to the uh, shell resource file take effect Okay, now type Java dash version. You see, it prints Open JDK version twenty three point zero point one. That means I have successfully uh, installed uh, Open JDK version twenty three on my um, Mac computer. And similarly, I can type Java C dash version to check the version of the Java compiler. You see, it prints Java C 23.0.1. The first command, Java dash version, is check the version of the Java virtual machine. The second one, Java C dash version, is 
to check the version of the Java compiler. Okay, so that's how to uh, download and install uh, OpenJDK 23 on macOS. And let me sum up the key points. It's strongly recommended to download the binary distribution of OpenJDK 23 on its official download page at uh, jdk.java.net slash 23. And it's also strongly recommended to, to verify the integrity of the downloaded archive file by using the sha sham command like this. And to extract the archive file uses that command like this. And then you need to update uh, environment variables by uh, creating a new shell resource file or append new lines into the G shell resource file like this export java underscore home and export path and to verify the installation type java dash version and java c dash version in terminal to check the version of java virtual machine and java compiler so I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.